All right, with uh, with my sound issue fixed, um, pretty much everything is done with the boards. I still need to do a little bit more work, but uh, it's fully working and stuff. So I figured I would remove the monitor, that track and field monitor, start working on the joust monitor itself, fixing that neck board, and I'll go ahead and remove all the controls, do the rebuild kits on the... Um, two-way with joysticks and remove these um, micro switch joysticks and then see what we can do with, with the control panel to fit it back to original so all right that's the next plan okay, okay so I have the uh, the player one joystick out and it, you can see it well not very well but you can see like there is so much dirt and grime and stuff like that so I'm gonna clean that up um, solder on new um, leaf switch hold. I mean leaf switches, um, but the more important thing is I have to close this hole right here um, so that we can do a direct mount with the leaf switch without having a button holder. Um, so I need to cut a hole with another smaller hole in it, and I'll show you what that okay, looks so like. So this was uh, out of a Defender Neo Do Mr. What was it? Wild uh, Mr. Do Wild Ride. Um, control panel and the operator actually you know cut this himself this isn't a defender control panel as far as I can tell otherwise the buttons would be totally different um, but he actually did a, do a good job so he could do a direct um, to wood leaf leaf um, switch mount and you can see it's about you know the hole is bigger up top about one I think it's one and an eighth inch and then on the bottom it's smaller so that when you put a button in, so I have a, let's see here, like this, this button here, this translucent button, when you put it in, there you go, you can see how just the smaller part um, pokes through and it will hold the button in there. And you can just put a, um, a lock nut um, on there, a pal nut, I mean, and uh, hold the button to the piece of wood and then you mount a leaf switch directly to that. So. Anyway, um, so what, okay, yeah, so what I was going to do is, I think this is um, one and an eighth inch here, and we're going to use, cut a one and an eighth inch hole out of this quarter inch plywood. I had a couple of these pieces of scrap um, in my scrap box, so I'm going to cut a hole, start to cut a hole there, and then with before I go all the way through, I'm going to use this three quarters inch, which is basically the size of that smaller hole, and go right in between. So that's what we're going to do. Be okay, right went through a couple of experiments. Um, I think I ended up with um, it wasn't going to work out how I how I initially thought it was, um, but the one in one eighth um, hole bit that I had is too, was too small. So I went to one and three eighths, which is too big. And I, I'm gonna have I'm using a file to basically um, fi file it down, like right, you know, I mean, as slowly but surely. But um, and then I'm gonna put I don't know what you want to call this little biscuit, not biscuit, but I mean this little round piece of wood um, in the hole first, glue it, and then drill through it. So let's show you what it looks like. Control panel, and it's basically pretty. I'm getting it close where it's like gonna be really a nice tight fit in there um, I don't, so um, and obviously I don't know what I'm doing I'm just uh, experimenting I guess but this is working for me right now is a cut the hole out bigger I'm gonna keep filing it down so it's fits in there nice and snug with some wood glue and um, and then All right, we'll go I got there. one glued in um, hopefully it holds pretty well I don't think I need to do anything extra um, on it. I could wood putty the whole thing over it, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. So that's what it looks like on the inside part. So let that um, glue set up and I need one, two, three more of these. So hopefully uh, this will work out because it's going to take a lot of time to fix this. Alright, two down. It would go a lot easier actually if um, if I actually had a one and a quarter bit, um, one, I mean one and yeah, a quarter um, hole saw bit.
I don't have that. I only, I don't know why the set that I bought has one and one eighth and then one and three eighths, but whatever. It it's making for a very tight fit as I slowly um, file file it down and make the hole um, perfect. So uh, yeah, keep going. I guess progress. Got all four in there. Just letting it you know really um, glue uh, cure and everything. So um, also put on this arcade shop. Uh, that, molt, that tr piece of trim right there. I need to get um, some cushion or like weather stripping or something to put it on the back so it doesn't, um, the staples and stuff don't go right onto the uh, glass bezel. But anyway, getting some progress. Unfortunately, I only have, let's see here, I only have three of these thicker um Williams leaf switches. These are the ones that are designed for the Williams control panels. I only have three of them um, and I have four buttons so I'm gonna have to find one of those um, but we're getting close. All right so this is uh I just started to drill the this is a 5 8 inch hole here um, coming out the back side it doesn't look great uh, but that's what it looks like with the button installed. I'm not even going to Bondo or anything like this. Like this is glued in there and it's so tight. I mean, I made it, it's not going anywhere. And plus there's a lip on the button, you know, so it's not like all the pressure is just on the bottom pal nut or anything. Um, so anyway, let's see here. So I have, where's my button at? So you, there's the, the start button. And then if we put a pal nut on it, That's how it's supposed to look right there. So very tight. And then um, we'll drill this one out, 5 8 inch, um, and then one more 5 8 inch hole, and we'll have all of our buttons in. But it's looking good. All right, so I thought it would be interesting to um, to show the you know, measure and take apart. Um, these are the two uh, the joysticks, the two-way uh, Wicca joysticks. This is uh, player two from the joust and this is player one and you can already see from the opening at the bottom yeah hopefully you guys can see that so it's about you can see that it's probably 13 to 4 yeah it's about 13 um, millimeters wide and this is a reproduction from arcade shop and it's about 10 millimeters uh, wide so um, that was so player one was 13 millimeters Let's see there player two was about 11 so like definitely a lot less wear there if we measure it this way it's about 15 on player two closer to 17 on player one and I noticed the arcade shop um, opening is actually a little bit wider it's almost it's 20 millimeters so it's definitely the arcade shop is definitely you know more oval going this way than um, the original uh, which is interesting I also have this was the original from my Stargate which I had already replaced um, with something before and the this one's about let's see here um, 11 or 12 millimeters so a little little uh, wear there and about 15 so 15 15 yeah so this one actually player two is not that bad and I did order the um, I don't have them yet but I did order the zero play kit um, but this one here probably worth replacing, I guess. Um, and but this one I'm going to keep keep original and maybe just put the zero play kit in it. We'll see. So let's take this apart and see if there's anything. I just want to measure. So then, whoops. Let me get a different screwdriver. Be right back. Yeah. So um, you just take this apart. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Um, Take these screws out. 
Again, this is player two. There's some corrosion right here that I'll clean up with some sandpaper. I just figured it would be interesting just to measure this a little bit to show the wear and the different wear between player one, player two, and then the arc arcade shop uh, reproduction. Oops, okay, so we got that. And now this obviously would have some wear to it as well. I was thinking that maybe. You know, I don't know why the bottom piece needs to be reproduced. Maybe because of this. Is that too much play right there with with that, maybe? Let's see. I mean, this one's definitely tight, harder to get in, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... less play in there so maybe that's why he, he he manufactured all of it because there's play you know within the pivot point right there there's a lot of we can measure that hole actually i would say that's about five six seven seven millimeters if i can get i'll pause because i gotta get this Back oh, this I, it was a pain for me to get it in there, so it's definitely tighter. So I think we said seven. And the whole size is base is looks like it's pretty close to being the same, about seven millimeters. And this pivot part is close to being seven, whereas this pivot part has got to be less. Yeah, it's more like six. It's a full millimeter. Looks like about a millimeter difference if I put it in there. There is more movement. Not a ton more. But that barely has any wiggle room in there. This one, the original, does. And if we look at it... Yeah. So I don't know if that's if that's wear or if that's just um, you know differences in the in the manufacturing. Now I got to figure out how to put this back together. So I think I think I put it in that way first. I don't know if there's an easy way to get this thing in there. All right, I'll be actually. I'll start. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Shouldn't be this hard, right?
take this. Well, now I can't get the damn thing off. All right, whatever. I got it on there. <clears throat> and we're going to use the same screws actually here. Oh dang, you know what I wanted to measure is the is this right here, this hole. Looking at about seven to eight millimeters there. Seven to eight. And now I can I'm not gonna be able to tell show you the other one. But I'm sure it's better. I was just curious to see if the difference is really this top part here or if it's actually, you know, the pivot points or the, where the actual, um, the actual joystick slides through, so, but I'm not going to take the time to take it back apart, so. Is there anything else I wanted to show? I don't think so. I'm going to... Here's all the leaf switches and stuff and the leaf holders and I'll, I'll film putting it all back together inside the uh, inside the cabinet. Okay, real quick. Um, so this was the uh, pivot or, or the joystick, whatever you want to call it, where the joystick slides through on the player two one. You're kind of like what we said about eight millimeters. This one is slightly more than that. And another way to kind of show it maybe is like if I come through this way, let's see here. You can just kind of see this is there's definitely some wiggle room there. And on player two, no, this is player one. Player one definitely more movement. Yeah, this one is, seems like it's a lot tighter. Yeah, I can wiggle this screwdriver back and forth based off of the thickness of that. All the way in there, it's definitely better on this one. Kind of slightly recessed as well. And you can kind of tell just from the how dirty they are like this one is player one and the hole is def is a little bit bigger as well so player two, player one. All right. Okay I figured I would um Zoom in. I already assembled one uh, um, joystick, and I figured I'd assemble player two here. Um, so I've already put it together, and I um, it doesn't it lost its anodized finish because I put it in um, evapor rust and it took it all out. So anyway, um, I did treat it so it would wouldn't rust, but um, it is what it is. So we're just going to put this on. Hopefully, this works out as far as assembling it. And I'll be right back. All right, so we gotta, let's see, we gotta put this on. And make sure it's on the ground strap. There might be an easier way to do this, but I I just figured this this is the way I did the other one. 
does make it a little difficult to get the e-clip in. Um, but, oh crap, I almost forgot one part. Dang, I'm gonna have to take them both. Okay, so first part is you have to put this spacer in there for the joystick. I haven't put in the, I did order some of the uh, zero play kits, but they're coming from the UK and I, I didn't feel like waiting. I just wanted to get this. I might end up taking at least the um, player one apart and put a zero play kit in there or something or replace it. So we'll see. You have to use a small screwdriver. It's unlike a Joust or Stargate where it's turned the other way and you could actually put the joystick through before it's completely assembling it. I couldn't figure out how to how you would actually access the screws on this lower bracket um, with with the that's why you kinda have, it looks like to me like you have to actually you know pre-assemble the joystick brackets first. This was the original player, player two bracket, joystick bracket, and um, the wear wasn't as bad, obviously, because probably more people played it as a player one game. All right, um, now we're going to. Oh yeah, and I also um, polished up the balls and and cleaned up off the rust. Um, I soaked these in evapor rust and then sanded them as well, and then um, treated it with some of that oil to help protect it. Um, so this is the hard part here: is getting this damn thing. You got to put this little washer on and kind of like slide it over this thing like that. And then try to get this E clip in like this. And this is like a super big pain in the butt. Like, I haven't really figured out how to do it um, extremely well here. I might be able to get it on the first try. And then I come from the top here. Boom! Got it. Um, that's sweet like that um, now it's time to I already replaced the leaf switches as well so we just have to put these back on the uh, braces go this way and what you want to do is you have to there's these little little felt felt strips that go on this side see that and so you mount it like this. So you put the metal bracket there. Then I'm going to thread one of these bolts through. Then it's going to be the felt, piece of felt, and then the the metal shim or whatever that um, goes to the, that 
that the uh, actuator will will actually um, be on. And then then it goes through the bracket metal shim the little felt strip leaf switch these leaf switches are from um, I'm pretty sure I got these from arcade shop like that and then the bolt and you just want to make sure that the metal shim Yep, that's it. it down yeah and I, I did the hard part obviously by um, see am I missing something that those go there that there okay yeah just like that all right I'll pause and be right player back. two here I adjusted the, the leaf switches but you can see like that's full motion right there it's it's definitely not as good I mean the arcade shop reproduction is feels a lot tighter I don't I'll show you from the other side too this is player one right there let's see if I can get it without being in the light I mean the, the range of motion is so much greater because it's tighter within inside the um, the little pivot like it's not moving inside the pivot, the joystick's not moving inside that pivot point at all, so it has so much more move, range of motion. Whereas this one, I move it almost like a quarter of an inch before it even makes contact. I'll show you, show you from the top side. So there's, zoom out just a little bit. I mean, look how much play is in this thing before you even get any pressure from the leaf switches at all like I have to go all the way over and that's where the first that right here is where I feel pressure for the very first time way over there so I mean this one over here that's I feel pressure right there on the from the leaf switch and that's basically because of that pivot arm I'm, I'm pretty sure the hole is a lot better so yeah that's definitely like I can barely boom it's engaged I mean it's very tight compared to this so all right well there's a control panel and I think I might post this video um, and I have the leaf switches but I'm waiting on some um, number five inch screws to uh, get the leaf switches put in and I need to order the uh, light sockets to plug in the lights and stuff so coming along pretty good I think the holes that I glued in there that worked out very well I mean these are, are rock solid and they're in there good so all right, all right to show time. you the difference again real quick before I leave I can never leave it good enough alone but look at if you see what's going on here there we go if you see how much movement if I just tap this this is the arcade shop reproduction it doesn't have the zero play kit in there but you can see just it's not a lot of movement. It's pretty, you know, pretty good. And then watch this one, which is the better of the two originally. But look at how much movement's in that. Just with me barely touching it. I mean, it is 
you have to move it all the way right or left to even get the leaf switches to engage um, with that one. Whereas this one, right there is pressure. You know what I mean? Just barely. Pressure, pressure, like so. All right, control panel looking pretty decent though.